yes. Next software conversation, but most importantly, live closet sale. We're gonna we're gonna be showing people fabulous fashion. But before we get started, let's share this out and then okay. we'll share who you are. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Super exciting. Oh my goodness. And shout out to StreamYard for again another wonderful live experience. I yeah. love them. Hopefully you now will start using them, right, Tara? Yes, I'm really excited about this. Yeah, this is a, it's I really, so cool. it, it seems like a really cool free platform and uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's, yeah, it's like good stuff here. Yeah. All right, so I'm right. sharing. Making sure I share to the right page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many I'm responsible for. <laughs> yes, oh yeah. <laughs> Don't want to put it there. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. No, no, that makes total sense. All right. So let me get non essentials up and then we can get started, guys. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Natasha Nurse. I'm Style for Ambassador. The beautiful woman virtually to the right of me is Tara Casilla. She is, oh gosh, what is she? She is a fashionista. She's a medium. She is a blogger, a vlogger, an influencer, a writer. She is everything. And uh, essentially what I'd love for her to do is first share a little bit who you are and you know, bring your bring everybody back into kind of knowing more about you and then we'll get into software and then we'll get to the close. Okay, so I'm like Natasha said, I'm Tara Cecilia. Um, I like to call myself a student of the universe, psychic medium, style enthusiast. Um, yeah, I'm just here to rock and roll, get rid of some of these clothes, get them into the right hands, <laughs> make my fiance happier with me. Oh, <laughs> <Aww>, yes. <laughs> So with that, that's the perfect intro to, well, what is Style For It? So anyone watching on the live or replay, if you aren't already aware of this platform, it's the first, the absolute first plus size online consignment dedicated to sizes 12 to 32. 12 to 32, that's an amazing range and an amazing amount of diversity of clothes that will be new, that will be used, that you can buy, that you can sell. Uh, you can also tap into conversations like this and opportunities to connect with really cool women because if you don't know tear you're missing out she's super duper important and super well known in the plus space nice. so very very cool to have her be a part of this platform so if you want to know more let me put in the comments check out styleforit.com and then with that uh, i guess what we can get into is maybe like some pieces you either already have in the shop or things that are coming so I have three things that are already in my shop um I'm, I'm notorious for wearing things one time. Mm -hmm. is not good. It's good for you, not for me. Yeah. <laughs> for my wallet. So I wore this probably for two hours. Wow. Um, for my uncle's Coast Guard, he was retiring. Um, and I, I wanted it because it was the Coast Guard colors. Yes. Oh, and it had like, okay. the most adorable Ooh. gold zipper, which is what sold me on it. Yes. Um, I got it at Rainbow Shops. I think it's. Hmm. Let's see what size. It's a three X. Okay. And it's so comfortable, perfect. I think it's a good transitional piece. Okay. Um, Memorial Day, Labor Day. I think it can get you through the summer. Mm. Mm. Very nice. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So That's when it fits, awesome. how did it fit around? You know, like for us curvy women, mm -hmm. it's important certain zones, right? So the boobs, yeah. the booty, the hips. How did it fit there? So for me, it was, I wanted something that was not going to show a lot of cleavage. I wanted to be more like not conservative, but definitely cautious, <laughs> like where I was, it was an important yeah. like ceremony. So yeah. it was up yeah. higher. So if you're like, not necessarily in the mood to like show the girls, yes, took care of that, but it has this great elastic ah. stretch. Yes. Okay. So, so and the hip or on the roof? Hit. Right on around the waist. Right around the waist. Okay. Went right down. It was straight line. You know, it was great. Gotcha. And, I mean, I don't like to listen to the rule of like the lines, mm -hmm. but you are like a stickler for like don't wear horizontal lines, but wear vertical, vertical lines. That would be the piece. Okay, gotcha. All right. And so that's currently okay. available at styleforit.com. Style for it. I think I have it for like ten dollars. Okay. Let me see if I can find double. It. Uh, I can maybe put the link on what is you said that is rainbows, right? Yeah. 
All right, let's see if I can find it. And so you so you talked about transitional piece, like mm -hmm. break that out a little bit more for people who aren't always up on the fashion lingo. What does that mean? So this is something that you can wear for multiple seasons. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'm seeing it like early fall or like early spring into late fall is what I'm trying okay. to say. Okay. Because it's just like a great, it's just a great piece. And it's that fabric you can layer, leggings, no leggings, sweater, no sweater, you know, however you need it. That's okay. what I feel. Perfect. So for some reason, I'm not seeing it when I scroll, but what we can do is if people want this piece, uh, what we can do is please put in the comments and then Tara or I can come in and make sure that it is a bit like we can get the link to you. You can buy it because again, it's a consignment platform. So what does that mean? One and one. Done. <laughs> yep. One person can buy it. So if that person is going to be you, you've got to put your yeah. hand up and, uh, and let us know so that we can make sure we get this in your home yes. immediately. Absolutely. All right. All right. You want the next one? Yes. Let's get to it. Okay. This one I wore for a photo shoot with Scorch Magazine. Um, so this has just been sitting in my style closet since then. This is also okay. it's on my shop. I can see my product list here. If you have um, the links and you can put it in, maybe uh, that might help because for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's a pink, what's the name of it? It's a bodycon, it's a light pink bodycon dress. Yes, okay, yes, I've seen the picture of that. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that yeah. was nice. All right, let me want me to put this other one yeah, in. The that in the link, yeah. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. If that works at all. Works so I wore good. this one for Scorch magazine. Mm -hmm. Um again, only a few hours wore it. Mm -hmm. if, if a few hours wore it. Um, it's that knit. It's just like stretch all the way around. I also think you could totally wear it. Okay. Like tuck it into a pair of jeans and wear it because it's so tight. You could almost wear it as a top too. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's really yeah. cool styling. As well. Again, I like things that are a little. I'm a little not like self conscious, but the girls are so much. <laughs> so I like the <laughs> higher, <laughs> higher neckline. Again, got, got that razor back. Nice, cute, yeah. yeah. Cute, it's that sporty, but it's also pink, so you're still kind of girly, like sporty. Fun. Absolutely. Going on. Um, Ooh. for me, it went a little below the knee. I'm five seven. Okay. So it does have length to it. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, so then that's something potentially you, you think you could do for work for women who you know. Oh yeah, I think it would be super cute with a blazer on top of it. Nice a pair of shoes, and again, like probably could do it with a pair of boots into the fall because it's like that pink wow. color that's not like so springtime. Yeah. I kind of got that taupe, not taupe, but like a mauvey. Mauve kind of. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it could be spring. It could be fall. I mean. Nice. Do whatever you want. It's fashion, right? You feel, yeah. Did you feel when you, it layered on your body that it cling? It, does it cling too much, or is there like does it move? Well, it's a. This one is a three X, and it's from Forever Twenty One. Forever Twenty One. Okay. So depending on how bloated I am, because I blow over a lot in the stomach area, yeah. that would depend. Okay. So it depends on how confident you are in terms of like your lower body shape. Gotcha. Um, okay. But I still think, think it's a great piece. Okay. Um, somebody will absolutely positively rock this. Beautiful. No, no doubt. So I'm going to put the link in the right now. Can okay. you yes. I'm so sorry, yes. lady. Absolutely. Yeah. Guys, I see people are watching. Do we have any questions as Tara is putting in links? Because if we have questions, what do we need to do? We need to ask them. And mm -hmm. one and done, y'all. So if you want this, what do you have to do? You have to make sure it gets there to, to you. So yes. make sure you are uh, asking and saying, if you have any questions, please put them in now. And then as she after she's done with that, then we can get to the next piece. Yeah. 
Huh. And also, FYI, if people have questions for Tare, given that she has such a breadth of experience in fashion, editorial, as well as the the psychic beyond, <laughs> quite an interesting uh, combo there, guys. Uh, you know, I don't I don't think you're going to do live readings for for instance, but <laughs> yeah. Today, if people have some questions about how do you balance that, things like that, if we have some time at the end of the program, oh, yeah. we'll, we'll circle back to that. But okay, what's this next piece? So this one I wore for it's it's actually you can't really tell on camera, at least I can't, but it is this deep evergreen it is oh, okay yeah so pretty so mm. on the top layer maybe if i do this you'll see it better that's beautiful yeah, yeah, yeah. we can see the green yeah oh this like lace-ish mm. oh my god so pretty but with a nice this is very warm feeling fabric underneath oh nice so there's a lining okay cool there's lining it's like a sack dress mm. and my favorite part of it is this little bow that's cute. In the back. It's That's so cute. delicate. I almost feel like you could wear it reversible. Um, I feel like this is a really nice feature that kind of gets lost yeah. in the back of the dress. Again, this hit me, uh, I want to say, right on the knee. Right on the knee. Okay. My dear fat girls blog post slash like fake engagement photo shoot I did with my fiance before yeah. we were engaged. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this will make him do it. I don't know what my thought Aww. process was there. Um, I think this would be a great dress for a Christmas party. Yes, I agree. Party. I think or that whatever would be holiday. A holiday party all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. Cause it's just cool because it's like that sack dress. So it's so mm -hmm. cool, but you're still festive because you got that holiday, like deep green color. Mm -hmm. I love it. I have it listed. Let's see how much I have it listed for my product list here. Uh, oh, it's a steal because I got this. It from, was from Avenue. It is nice. a, I want to say 24. Okay. The tag is in a weird place. <laughs> Let's see what I have it listed here. But it's for, I'm listing it for $15, but I know it was much more. It's an 1820. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So uh, it, was definitely at least sixty dollars when I bought. Oh, wow, guys, that's crazy! Did you hear the yeah. savings here? So yeah, yeah. You put in the link. Make sure you put in the link for that. Yeah. Thing. And then, do we have questions about this? I think what I like about this, and I remember that picture that you shared with you. Uh, were you twirling? I think you were twirling. Yes. Right? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I think it's it's a it's like it looks luxurious, right? And it looks like really like you could style it up. Uh, mm -hmm. From a color perspective, just because you know, give people some, drop some, some truth bombs on them when it comes to fashion. Would you prefer gold, silver? What type of like color tones would you go with? That? With this, absolutely, I would go gold. Gold, nice. Yeah. Okay. It's awesome. just, it, it feels like almost decadent. Mm -hmm. Because of this top fabric has that like creasing, and it's just so yeah. like fancy. I feel like you gotta go gold. Not that silver is not special. Yeah. But, like, you got to go gold. gold. You know? Okay. Yeah. What kind of shoes would you wear with this? Um, I, I mean, if you can find a pair of like killer gold pumps, like. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah, nice. I almost feel like dark, like black tights and then like a pair mm. of gold. Oh my God. Like how cute would you be strolling into the party? Like. Absolutely. So cute. But Absolutely. I mean, if you're not into that, wear flats. Wear black shoes, gold shoes. I feel, mm -hmm. like, shoe. I feel like it's very versatile. Absolutely. I think it gets looked over a lot, but it's pretty versatile. Okay. And that's something I would consider, you know, just go yeah. for it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite color. It's the color of money. Uh, yeah. Well, the green, <laughs> green and gold is just money. Money. You just yeah. like party bees, money songs in my head when it's going to play when you're walking in. I like that yeah. money. I want that money. <laughs> yes, baby. So cute. <laughs> it's like you get a little, you know, a little blush after a couple of drinks, take it off. It's, you know, money. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. All right. So I think I now have, you have uh, one more or do you have, what's I, coming to the I have a couple more to call. I have two more that I can, oh, actually, can I show three more? Yeah. 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 Let's do more. I have another one. That's a really good Christmas party, like holiday. Okay, it's perfect. This is a size 14. So I do have a bunch of different like sizes that are going to be going on to my store. Wow. Oh, okay. 
still has its tag on it. I've thrifted this. Mm -hmm. From Boohoo. Okay, this, I wish I could wear this so oh. bad, but I'm not going to be a size 14 anytime soon, so it deserves to live its own life. <laughs> it yeah. is the most. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a jumpsuit. It is oh. so, so cute. Oh. Cool. So cute. Oh, How hot. How hot. Now, what do you think? Because I, like you, have big girls. Uh, yes. What are you, what are now, wh whether they're 14 with big girls, small girls, what are your advice for that? Because that's definitely a deep plunge. <laughs> that is a deep plunge. <laughs> well, for, if you're not comfortable with the deep plunge, feel free to sew something, you know. Oh. And they have so many nice fabrics now that you probably can find something that's even red with a little bedazzle or something that would blend right in. That would be really cute. Ooh. You know, a simple two stitch to close it up if you were uncomfortable but still wanted a little pizzazz. Yes. Not get yourself some good, like the bubby tapes they got. True, true, true. Yeah. Absolutely. Kim Kardashian wraps her stuff up with duct tape. So, yeah. You can do it too. She can do it. You can do it. Wrap it on, baby. Wrap it up, you know? Yeah. Go the other thing I'm thinking is what about also like a bodysuit or some type of shapewear? If you're comfortable uh, I think in shapewear, I would do shapewear, you know? Okay. I'm not a fan, but I hate being restricted in any form of my life. Really? Oh, man. If I have to wear, I think one time I was going to fashion week and I was on the train and I was like sitting on the train and I was like literally going and saying I'm like I gotta get this off and I went I never <laughs> used the bathroom I went in the train bathroom and I slithered out of my I was like I'm not wearing this I, oh. I don't care and I threw it away I was like I'm done we're not doing this oh really you hate yeah. it so it it, just, it, ugh, it just like even thinking about the fact that it would be like sticking like right here I'm like I can't breathe I just feel like mm. Like, nope, not worth it. Interesting. Okay. So yeah. I have uh, the opposite feeling. I love yeah. shapewear because, you know, I, you know, we, you know, with the muffin top situation, mm -hmm. right? Like I constantly have bloating in my stomach from having hypothyroidism and like, and it frustrates me because I'm like, why is my stomach sticking out? And I find it comforting to like yeah. put on a high top kind of, my husband calls it, you know, the granny panties, but it's like the high top one. So it yes. sucks you in, right? We get that Kard yes. Kim Kardashian look going on. And I feel it like, oh, finally it's down <laughs> and it's supposed to be where it's supposed to be. But I, I hear you though. Yeah, like I have tried shapewear that like, especially on my legs and that, that's hard mm. because usually it starts to roll up and oh. then crank, like hurt indent in your leg. And that's yes. like, Wait a minute. Wait one minute. Uh, <laughs> so then I. Why are you betraying me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, yeah. I do. I have those memories. It's oh yeah. my gosh, styling the big girls. It's uh, it, it's interesting, right? Yeah. Process. <laughs> it is a process. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so that's yeah. coming from the shop. That's coming to the shop. Yes. So good, ladies yeah. watching or gentlemen, whoever. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. If, listen, get your life. Uh, yeah. You're watching and you are fascinated. And that I love the red too. It's like a beautiful mm -hmm. color of shade of red. Mm -hmm. That's sexy. That's and I think uh, it was, I, the reason I picked it out in a pipe dream was like, oh, I'll lose weight and I'll wear mm -hmm. it. It's so unhealthy to keep clothes that don't fit you. Yes in your closet. And I'm like, this red, I love it. looks so good with my pale skin. I'm like, oh, yeah. but I can't do that to myself. So tag still on, could be yours. I'll probably price it around $20. I mean, yeah. I got it for like nothing. So Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. That, yeah, that's definitely a $20 jump. Jumps, come on now. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. get your life if you, if you are 14. Yeah. And, but I, I agree with you. That's a part of the premise of why style for it was started. This idea that especially plus size women, we have, such an overload of clothes in our closet from things mm -hmm. we can't wear, things we bought that yeah. we said we were transitioning to that we never transitioned to. Yeah. And then also clothes that were like, ugh, like we just, we don't, it's not for us anymore. It's not yeah. that it's bad. It's just not a part of our, our vibe anymore. Mm -hmm. Why is it taking up space in your closet? We, unless you have endless space, you have to yeah. minimize and, and clear out. So it's, easy to get dressed for work. It's easy yeah. to go about, live your life. And you can like love your fashion more. I love when I can see everything and like touch yeah. it and not be like, Ooh, you know, like struggling. It doesn't, doesn't feel good. I feel like when you have so much clothes, it's hard yeah. to build a relationship with individual pieces. Yes. Having a relationship with your clothes 
is really important. Mm. Bachelor, the first day of the bachelorette, and you got like, you know, 30 dudes to choose from. Yeah. It's like, no, let's skip to the halfway mark, you know? Exactly. So I can build Ooh, relationships right. with each of these pieces. No. Nice. That's kind of how, how this makes me think of it. I love that. Ooh. <laughs> Piece that's super cute for like Halloween, maybe kind of Ooh, cool. let's like see. Little goth girl or something. Okay. Okay. It's just, it is a US 22, and I've lost some, a little bit of weight, so it doesn't fit me quite the way I was hoping it would. Okay. It is purple and this like lime, it's not showing up the way I wanted to, but it's like this lime green okay. plaid sack dress. Oh my God. It's so super cute. Super cute. Aww cute like i know like knee high socks are like super duper in right now like a pair of combat boots and like this and a chunky sweater like black sweater Ooh. oh that's like such a great outfit oh but my goodness for me right now so we went from a 14 in the jumpsuit and now we're at a 22, 22. yeah so we're You're talking range. diverse yeah oh yes. my goodness. talking range i love this one thing though i will point out the armpit kind of deep Oh, yeah. So do you think people would wear like a t-shirt underneath maybe? Or I don't know if you wear a t-shirt or like a like a bando or like. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Hang or something if you're uncomfortable with the side move action to each their own. Not me. <laughs> Somebody else maybe do it up. Yeah, yeah. I can't do the side move situation. The popular tattoo area. So if you have a cool tat. Oh, that's true. That is true. Cool. Yeah. And like you can wear it in the summer. That's, I bought it in the summer. Does it, so look, does it feel thick? It looks kind of thick. Yeah, it does have some, it's almost, I don't know how to describe. Let's see what it's made out of. Yeah. Let's see. No tag there, says it. Let's search. <laughs> some weight to it. Mm-hmm. Ah, found it. It's 100% cotton. Oh, Breathability. Nice. Very nice. I and love it. it. Durable, like it will get, it will last you. Super cute. I love yeah. that. Where's awesome. Coachella or something? I don't know. True. True. That's a great mm -hmm. one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And before you know it, we'll be planning for the next, I, that's nuts, right? That the year is like, it is yeah. moving, man. That was from ASOS too, by the way. ASOS. Okay, cool. Yeah, $29. Um, probably sell for 15 Yeah. Around there. Yeah. Okay. Expect something like that. All right. This next piece. Love it. Okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> and people who like, so the, I'm just preface this with, when people say they like birds. You know, they're crazy. You know, I'm crazy. This has cranes on it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the most beautiful sack dress I've ever seen from ASOS. Originally $119. Wow. Yeah. Gorgeous though. Yeah, that is gorgeous though. It is. So holiday party maybe, right? Yeah. Or just like yeah. around the office, you know? Well, yeah. Like you're just a badass. You're just a badass. Yeah. And then, yeah. That's uh, gorgeous. Where does it fit you? It, it hits your knee? It hit my knee. It went right to my knee. Um, I wore, I wore one day I wore leggings with it because I have wore it. I tried to wear it, but I came to the conclusion the second time I wore it, it was just too big. It's uh us 24 i'm probably 2018 right now okay i was like i didn't want to belt it because of the mm -hmm. yeah so i was like all right i love this dress it's just not loving me back right now mm -hmm. it's just too big but somebody else can love it yeah and it looks I mean, like quality stitching and every like that's gorgeous okay. yeah i saw it on the online i was like have to have it i need yeah. to have that i need to have it it is on sale on their website for $59. Wow. Right now, I'll sell this for 30. Okay. For 30. So that's a huge savings. Absolutely. Yeah. Major, major savings. I just, it's so pretty. It is so. Aw. You're going to be sad when you sell it. You're I am. Like, I'm thinking about buying my size. Though. I know. I'd be like, oh, no. I'd be like, twinning. <laughs> Yes, exactly. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. It's just it's so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Very it's just unique so too. It looks like yeah. it's like like people you wear it and it's a it's a head turner style you show style yeah. kind of dress. Yeah, it's like a little black dress like to the next level. Ooh, I like that. Like you're wearing art. Level. It's just so nice. Mm, gorgeous. It. 
So do we have questions? If so, put them in the comments. Uh, if you have styling questions, Tara can answer. If you have questions uh, about you know, how things fit, put it in the comments so that we can come and address them. And then you have anything else? You have a couple more, right? I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I want to stop. We're about to go in, lady. <laughs> All right, I do have something that I got from Prem. I know. Oh, ooh, that I, would love love that. Yeah. I bought this originally for my cruise that I'm going on next month. <gasps> Fun. Too big. It's a four, which I'm assuming by there's, I don't know, remember what their size chart said, but if I'm an 1820, it was swimming. Okay. And it's a cute little. I remember seeing that. Yes. Mm -hmm. cute. So cute. Again, the red like color. I'm like, oh, it's going to look great. It's my pop. Yeah. <laughs> Too big. Swimming on me. So this will be coming to the store, my shop, Gorgeous. real, real soon. Also have a ton of unworn denim, still tags on. Nice. Light wash, dark wash, black. Okay. All, ton of stuff. Beautiful. Ton of stuff. All right. So you have a lot of work on your end posting. Yeah. But guys, what do you need to do on your end? You need to go on and once it's live, start buying, start clicking, right? So definitely yes. let's uh let's make sure if anyone has any questions put them in if not then i guess what i'd love to do is you know i don't want to take up all your time you have time for with the cats is does she has three kittens three beautiful kittens guys <laughs> is anyone nearby or no no i lost i got rid of them oh sweet babies yes they're beautiful though but uh but with that I'd love for you to share a little bit because you're going through, since you talked about transitional pieces, you're yeah. going through a transition with your business. Share oh, yeah. people in on sharing kind of what's going on in your end and what they can expect from you. So I've been going through, as Natasha called me, I'm a content creator who doesn't create content. <laughs> <laughs> that has been repeating in my mind ever since our conversation. About <laughs> I'm like, oh, she called me out. Oh no! You gotta call us beta spade, baby. <laughs> after that moment, major epiphany. I'm like, damn, she's right. Oh, uh, so it really pushed me further in a mm -hmm. already been going through, but had kept stopping myself. Yeah. So I started this journey in like 2011 as a style blogger, blogger working with magazines. Yes. I've been ignoring a major part of me that. Mm -hmm a psychic medium um i had known that since i was a child mm. and, but i was like why am i not achieving what i want to achieve mm -hmm. and when i was just doing style once i decided to start doing spirituality and it scared me which is part of the reason why i've stopped so many times yeah um, along this transition finally i'm like style and spirituality like that's what i need to do show people how they exist together how feeling good on the inside resonates yeah. to the outside I'm feeling good about how you look on the outside resonates into the inside mm. and how, you know, our loved ones are around us. We control the energy around us. Yep. We control how the energy around us impacts us. There's so much more for me yep. to talk about. And as soon as I accepted, like, this is my path, it's like mm. floodgates, um, which is hard. Sometimes you can't handle the amount of water or, I, you know, yep. what comes at you. You build the dam around yourself which is when you become a content creator who doesn't create content and you just damn it all. <laughs> but, you know, I have my website, terracecilia.com. Yep. It's, uh, it's in a beta type of mode right now. Mm -hmm. More stuff will be coming out as I, you know, amp up. Tomorrow, 8 a.m., I'm doing my first Soul Sunday. Mm -hmm. We're just going to sit down yeah. and talk about, you know, basically whatever's on my mind. I don't want to, like, set themes to it. Okay. Set a theme and be like, I don't, I, this is what, what's resonating with me this morning, not what mm. I wanted to talk about. Yeah. So it's really just going to be a time for my soul to jabber on. Yes. And jabber on together. And on the 13th, I'm so yes. excited. I'm going to be doing live energy readings. So if you want to connect with a loved one mm. or just want like me to like kind of discuss the energy or have a question, I'm going to be doing that. It's going to be a full moon. It's a Sunday. It's Columbus weekend. So maybe nice. we'll go over the hour because I don't have to be in bed as early as I would be. Yep. We're going to do it because I'm off on Monday. So <laughs> maybe I'll go a little bit over. But I'm just yeah. inviting everyone in. Let's just like connect. Mm. The universe together. Yes. Yeah. 
Absolutely, guys. So that's a lot. I guess what I and listen, I think, you know, because you y'all don't know how young she is. She's extremely young and extremely accomplished. But yes, we we sometimes have to get a little rough and tough just to yeah. right, get that fire under our butts and say, listen, we can be we can be improving what content we do put out. We can be improving how we sell, how we there's yeah. so many things in life. It's all about learning. But I guess with this journey that you've been on, I guess what have been the biggest lessons that you've learned as a content creator, as a medium, as a woman, as also you you didn't even talk about some of the health stuff that you that you're yeah. looking to bring awareness to. Of yeah. All, all of this journey, what have been the top lessons you've learned? Well, sometimes you have to be the person who says yes. And sometimes you have to be the person who says no. Mm. I feel like that is something that could be applied to business. Mm -hmm. As a body, your health issues, mm. all of that. So I feel like that's one of the biggest lessons I've learned is when to be a yes man or what's or yes woman and a no woman because... <laughs> Some, you would think being a yes man's easy, but sometimes it's not. Mm. They know something, you know? Absolutely. I love that. And uh, and this year you would say you're finally, you feel like you're saying yes to you and what, yeah. what you, what's your purpose and what you want to do. Yeah. Awesome. And I'm just kind of calling stuff out. Just like, no, I don't <laughs> like that. Or yeah, I think you're doing that, you know, not being living in fear of how other people are perceiving what I'm doing anymore. Mm. Um, it was like scary when I was a like, people pleaser for so long. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this for them. Mm. Nah. You're gonna I won't play in my own space. Yeah. Studio, you know, it's really good. Absolutely. It is. It's extremely freeing to do what you want. I mean, a part of that is, you know, what motivated me and my husband to move from New York to Arizona. The idea that like, what are we waiting for? Are you waiting for this one perfect moment in life to be happy or could you be happy now, right? Happiness is a choice every single time. It's not yeah. just something that happens, it's a choice. Yeah. And you have to run towards that choice and you have to build a life on that yeah. choice. And if you don't, shame on you. <laughs> you, yeah. cannot, you can't look to anybody else, you can't, it was nope, you are in the driver's seat of your life every single day, every single moment. So if something yeah. is not sitting well with you, you have to confront it and move through and pass and take people and negative situations out of your life, change your job, change your living, yeah. whatever you gotta do, but you always run towards happiness and, and keep expanding on that happy. Whatever yeah. makes you happy now, what can we do next year to make us more happier, to make us more healthy, yeah. to make us more evolved? So I appreciate that. Now, can you put in the comments the link to where people should tune in for the oh. live tomorrow? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll do that. Perfect. And whilst Tara is doing that, because I definitely, so 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right? Yeah, my Perfect. time. Yep. So I will be definitely tuning into that. And so well, as you're doing that, uh, you know, also, what what is it like? What is it like to work with a medium for people who may maybe are curious, but they're like, I don't know what that means. Like, could you explain that process to them as well? Yeah. Uh, so I always start my readings and I say, my intention is your intention. So mm -hmm. if you are going to be skeptical about it, mm -hmm. then you probably are not going to get the results that maybe you want or think you should get from it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Um, yeah, so I like my attention is your attention. So that's that. I try to make it, you know, it's a non-denominational experience. So I try not to harp okay. on any specific religion unless it comes up during the reading. So you don't okay. have to worry about it, me like forcing some kind of, you know, agenda on you. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. It, it's meant for me to be a positive experience for me, for you, mm. and for the spirit that you're trying to connect with. Gotcha. Um, and you have to, I, one thing I think people don't realize is that I go into readings, I always dress really nice because it's my first time meeting that spirit. Yeah. Most of the time. Every now and then someone will come to me, you know, a spirit will come to me ahead of time and I'll spend time with them. That's very rare. Mm. So you may know them, I don't know them. <laughs> Mm, gotcha. So I you gotta work with me without telling me too much, but gotcha. work with me to get the right results. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I always say that if this was not something I was able to do, mm -hmm. it would not be something I would believe in 
I like numbers. I like facts, all of that. If mm. I could not talk to, you know, Grandpa George, yeah. I would not believe that somebody was talking mm. to Grandpa George, for example. Yeah, but if you're working with the right medium, it should be a good experience for you. Awesome. Okay. So you feel like it's like closure, but then is it also insight for what's to come or is it mostly oh, like a conversation of past, present, and future or? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's what you want it to be. Like I do intuitive readings that'll be past, present, future based on your energy. Mm. It comes through during that. We'll go into a reading. Wow. Um, if you want me to do, they both, they meant, a lot of times they marry together. They cross over. There's that okay. gray area. Okay. Um, They'll be like, you know, I had one with a young girl and her grandma came through and she was like, go to school for what you want to go to school for. And I was like, are you going to school? I asked her that. And she's like, no, she's like, I really want to be a baker. And I'm going to school for like that technology or something like that. I'm like, your grandma said you need to go to school for business and baking and like become, you can have, you can do that. Oh, oh and, like, powerful. How am I supposed to know? Like, I didn't know. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, there is, is all the weird instances that happen during readings oh. always amaze me. Mm. <laughs> always amaze me. Absolutely. Now, yeah. do you watch the show uh, A Million Little Things, I believe it's called? No, I do not. Oh, okay, so if you do watch that, I think it's on Hulu, and I don't know what channel on TV it comes on, but you can check it. See, it. but there was a recent episode this week where there was an intuitive guide. He and he like met one of the characters, and he had never met her. He and his friend, he's friends with a mutual friend, and they hadn't talked in five years. And he holds her hand, like they greet hands, and he's like, "I'm so sorry for your loss." And he oh. like intuited that she had yeah. lost her husband, but then of yeah. course there was someone in the room who was like. Like, you know, the naysayer, yeah. of course, right? He read an article, yeah. right? Like, and so it is interesting. I believe that, like, whatever you believe becomes your reality, right? And I think yeah. that, so if you're open, like, I believe that, yes, like, you can talk to people who are no longer here. I, be I believe in that reality, so it is my reality, but yeah. I don't know if everyone uh, does. And so, what I, but I do think that, like, life is so short to not just be open, right? Like, yeah. if it's you know, just be flexible. I, I think that's really cool. I mean, it's, it seems like it would also be scary, like on your end, how do you detach so that you're not constantly like tapped <laughs> in, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of like meditating within myself and mm. saying no on that level too. It'd be like, mm. I understand you're here to talk to me. I cannot talk to you right now. Oh, wow. Like, uh, sage, Santo Paulo, like, Mm. This white light only shines here, like mm. be quiet. And I just try to be like, this is especially like, especially now that I'm living with my fiance, and he's not exactly like keen on the oogly booglies, like popping in and out. <laughs> so he's we he's been in the room where I'm physically like seeing something, but he'll hear it, mm. and he's like, tell it to go away, and I'm like, okay, that. So, Crazy! Oh my yeah. God! I just got goosebumps. Oh my He's God! Not, like, <laughs> he not, he's like, boy, what's happening? I'm like, I don't know. They just want to say hi and like living in. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. You, yeah. So the next stage is uh, TV show love because I want to see oh, like that. Doc that, that seems so horrifying. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm like, how do I like spin this? I I want to get like some of my readings on video, and mm. it's like mm. hard to do with just one person right now. I'm like, I got to figure out how we can build this out because, like, fashion to faith. I'm like trying to think of like different names. It could be like, yes. TV, like hook a girl up. Yes. Oh gosh, that seems incredible. Even a book, right? An audio book, something that could be really interesting to talk about different yeah. ages and different types of readings and different types of conversations yeah. and lessons learned along the way. That could be interesting. So guys, there's a lot to expect from this wonderful, beautiful, talented woman. So where can people go again to champion you and uh, give them again the information for what's happening tomorrow? So tomorrow, Soul Sunday, it's going to pour a cup of coffee and fill our souls. Um, mm. kind of all the things that make us feel good. Then on the 13th, if you want to do an online reading, I'm going to be doing that on Instagram Live and Facebook Live. Cool. If you want to hang out in between all those different activities, I am Tara Cecilia on all platforms. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TaraCecilia.com. Um, hit me up. Like, let's hang out. Um, 
I apologize in advance for the cat spam. Uh, because I just love them so much and I love to post about them. They're beautiful kittens, yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. Uh, how old are they now? Um, I'm gonna say they're probably five, six months now. So teeny. They're still pretty little, but I was looking at pictures of them when they were babies and they're big. much bigger now, right? Oh. Well, thankfully you have cats, so hopefully you'll have them for the next 30 years. You know, they can live for <laughs> Why are they still here? <laughs> for a long time. So <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, and again, thank you guys for everyone tuning and watching. Uh, please click on Tara's link that she added because if you want them, one and done. It only takes one person to click and buy and take the savings. And if you haven't already joined the Southport community, simply go to southport.com. Open up your shop. You can start selling and making money off of things you already bought. Money, 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 right? Who yeah. wants money? We're going into the holiday season. Let's start moving some products, guys. Let's start yeah. and selling and promoting and uh, enhancing this platform because it was designed for us, right? You don't have yeah. to go to eBay and find, oh, where is my plus? Nope, this is a platform for <laughs> us, for us, built by a plus size woman. So it's 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 literally foo boo. I mean, it's for yes. us, us, right? Which is uh, yes. pretty amazing, and uh, it's been an honor to, of course, talk with you. And I can't yes. wait for Soul Sundays. I hope you guys are excited for this new programming that she Tara is doing as well. And uh, thank you for everyone tuning in. Thank you, Tara, for being here. And uh, goodbye, everyone. Bye. All right. Have a good one. <laughs>